Hi, I'm Tammy, and, and you're, you're watching, watching Off, off the, the Record. record. Hello people, I am Temi Fagbenle and I play for uh, the Minnesota Lynx um, WNBA team based in Minnesota. I'm in my second season this year, so still on the rookie contract. So what exactly started this whole journey? Can you explain what led you to being a basketball player? I started playing basketball when I was 14 years old. Um, I didn't start because I wanted to. I, tennis was my first love, um, but unfortunately, you know, I, was, I grew up in England and I was playing tennis in England. But um, being one of 12 children, um, it kind of started to get very expensive. Private training. After moving to basketball at 14, I I went to New Jersey um, from England to New Jersey at 15 years old and I went to a boarding school in New Jersey. Basketball was the, basically what my passport, and I, I say this a lot, basketball has been a passport for me throughout my whole life. It's taken me to so many countries, um, met so many people through it, um, got a free education in every single place I've been in, and I've just really capitalized on my skill um, in order to better myself in other ways as well because I'm not just a basketball player you know I'm interested in other things and I use basketball as um, kind of like a tool to reach my other goals yeah. and so I went from Blair Academy to Harvard University and then from Harvard to USC and then from USC to WNBA and so it's just like wow you know, like I, I've always, my goal was always to make it to the WNBA because okay. I knew, you know, that's the epitome of um, amazingness oh, in, 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 in basketball, women's basketball. Mm -hmm. It's just an amazing experience so far. Yeah. Great. So when you went to Harvard and USC, what interested you in the majors that you chose? Mm -hmm. So at Harvard, I chose anthropology mm -hmm. and I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Um, I didn't. I have so many interests and it's all so broad and so I just didn't know what I wanted to pick and anthropology was kind of like the broadest subject for me and then at USC I did as you know strategic <laughs> public relations emphasis on the strategic you know so I kind of I've just I feel like I've set myself up if I wanted to you know of the field of anthropology or PR I've set myself up for the, my future I'm just I'm thankful for basketball for giving me that p platform, you know, giving me that chance to, it has made, made it easier for me to go through those, those routes. Mm -hmm. My family has always been big on academics, and that's the reason why I went to Harvard. You know, they, they started uh, recruiting me at high school, when I was in high school, um, and so as soon as I, they started, you know, they, they were recruiting me, I knew that was the place I was going to be. You know, when, once Harvard comes knocking, you don't say no. Right. You're like, uh, <laughs> you know? And so, you know, I, I, being young and, you know, hard-headed, I wanted to, I pretended to my family that, you know, I wanted to, you know, look at my other options and see which other schools were interested in me, but blah, blah, blah. But I knew <laughs> in my heart of hearts that Harvard was where I was going to go. But so, yeah, academics is, you know, one of my, I guess, passions. I just love to learn. Um, but I'm also, I love to act. Each school I've been in, I've taken acting classes. Um, and so hopefully one day I get to Game of Thrones. That is my, <laughs> that is ultimate, my goal. ultimate goal. I don't care what I'm in. I may be an extra or something. I don't know. But I need to be in the Game of Thrones as a warrior princess, witch, something. I don't know. I need to be in it. Get me on the Game of Thrones. I remember when we were in school that you also were interested in modeling. I saw you. Oh yeah, in modeling. Oh my gosh, there's so many things going on. Like, <laughs> Modeling, yes, I am interested in that too. Like, I know I'm not just any kind of modeling. Like, you you can just it doesn't interest me just to be a pretty face or whatever, a pretty body or whatever. I want there to be a reason behind what I'm doing. You know, with modeling, creative modeling, out of the box modeling, modeling that doesn't make me look pretty all the time. You know, that shows something that you know. It's just different. I don't like to be the same. My family inspires me. I am one of 12 children and we have, we just do 
everything basically they <laughs> we got teachers lawyers artists poets journalists you name it like in my family and so they everything they do just really inspires me um, makes me want to be a better person not only just because of their accomplishments at work but just the kind of the people they are you you go to a lot of different countries you experience cultures do you think any of those have shaped or have helped you succeed in basketball I mean yeah like I grew up in a very open-minded family already you know the so many of us there's more to life than just me and there's so many other you know met so many different people in this world and so many different views and so many different ways of life just you know taking that on the court has just enabled me to be to just let things come and just not you know I'm not I'm not quick to judge people and that I think translate on the translates on the court as well it can give me a patience I would say that Let's take it back to 2012 when you were in the summer of London. Oh, you did your research, okay. You describe <laughs> that experience because that is absolutely great. <laughs> I am sitting next to an Olympian. Oh my gosh, guys, it was just fantastic. Um, and it was in London, you know, that's my hometown, one of my hometowns, and so that's going to be, and I said, I've said this before, it's, it was definitely a once in a lifetime uh, experience for me because it's not going to be in London in, the, in my lifetime again, I don't think, or it's my, my athletic lifetime anyway. Um, and so just, whew, it was just, I just, whenever I think back, I just, oh, I just get shivers because it was such an amazing experience. It was such a high and then when it ended, it was such a low, like, what is going on? Like, really, this has all ended? Um, but it was so amazing to play in front of the home crowd. The, uh, the support was just unparalleled. The most satisfying part of my job is definitely winning. <laughs> For sure. I mean, winning after knowing how much work you've put into the whole thing. Just because it, it's a collective effort you know it doesn't it's not one person that wins the whole team needs to be on the same page in order to fulfill your goals um, and that's just like the hardest part of being on a team as well like getting everybody on the same page getting everybody to realize this is like what we need to do to win and getting everybody to be selfless as well um, so when that clicks it's just the most amazing thing like amazing feeling just satisfaction this is a very exclusive club. You know, you have thousands upon thousands of people vying for, you know, or wanting to be in the pros or even to college. Those people I tell, you know, for the people who are serious, if you're serious about it, you, you already know deep inside like what you have to do. But if you want to know how to be serious, you have, it's, it takes so much dedication, takes so much hard work takes so much consistency in all of those in, in hard work. What are you doing on the court? What are you what are you eating? What are you putting in your body? How are you looking after yourself? What are you wearing on your shoe you know, on your feet? Like all these things matter in, in, in terms of you know being at the higher you know, playing at a higher level and in increasing your longevity on the court. You just really have to look into your, look to yourself and ask yourself, can I do this? Can I be dedicated to, to this endeavor and if you can you can if you can't you can't you're probably good at something else I don't know but just not understand that it's gonna take a lot of work and it's gonna be fun like it shouldn't be it shouldn't be you know a lot of work shouldn't be daunt it's you know it sounds daunting but it shouldn't be such a crazy thing to achieve it's just it is what it is you know you're gonna put it in and you're gonna enjoy putting in that work so 